Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Write again, write again. Was it hard? Nah. Why? Because they don't do anything new. I always use that uh, uh, interview with uh, Pablo Picasso after he visited that cave, the paintings on, the, uh, on a cave, you know, inside a cave. He came out and he said, we artists, something like that, we haven't uh, learned anything. Those guys did everything for us. We didn't advance at all. The same with these kind of things. In a war, they will do the same thing everyone else did in the past. We'll apply the same methods. We don't hear them now because it's politically incorrect and it's about winning a war. So they were not going to tell you that, hey, the Ukrainians actually committed this kind of things. The Ukrainians committed as well this kind of things. Oh, the Ukrainians did this, the Ukrainians did that. They will not tell you now. The order is not given yet. The order is given to talk about the Russians. Hey, they committed war crimes, they abducted children, they did this, they used that, they are doing this and so on. The Ukrainians? No. Almost saints at this point. There were saints up to about two months and a half. Two months and a half, I noticed a change in how the news is reported by the Western, some Western outlets. And there is a little bit of... Maybe the Ukrainians did not kill 270,000 Russians. Maybe they killed about 33,000. An article I covered two days ago, BBC uh, Russia uh, conducted a, uh, a research and they found that, an investigation, and they found that only 33, only, you know, about 33. The Ukrainians continue to tell you that the Russians, they killed 270,000 Russians about. Now, we found something that I've been saying it, a lot of people were saying it, not the mass media, and that is the weapons that these guys are selling, selling, giving those guys as aid. No, those weapons are to kill. Right? Let's put it straight. In our names, right? without asking us, but hey, we vote one time, that's a blank check for them. They can do whatever they want. So the weapons that we sent them are unaccounted. They were stolen, and I'm assuming that we're going to find out, I bet my everything I got, that we're going to find out some of them were sold on the black market. Sorry for my politically incorrect uh, term. But anyway, I don't give a fuck anyway. So anyway, here we go, my friends. Let me show you this article from the War Zone. They found stolen surface-to-air missiles in Ukraine. Can you believe that? Of course. The problem is that there will be some people, only some, they already have the books, they have the books already written. The dates and the numbers must be changed. They're waiting. When the signal is given, those few will publish a few books and they will become very well known. Some I know, some Steins, some Bergs, some Burgers, some something like that. You know, they will be famous overnight. Why? Because they are allowed to. They already have the contracts done. And they will tell us things that I and others told you in a camouflaged way. Why? Because you can't say, it, hey, this is what's going on. Even though I said it many times and I didn't get any ban yet. Why? Because I said, well, you know, I had to be a weasel. You can't tell the truth. That would be a revolutionary act in uh, the world we live in right now. So let me show you this article. It comes from the war zone. Not this uh, military spouses. The war zone. And it says, stolen surface to air missiles found in Kiev garage. And here, the Ukrainian police recovered a variety of weapons in recent days, including air defense missiles they turned over to the military. And you're going to find more and more and more. They found this before, but they didn't report it. I guarantee you that. Here are, here are some of them. You know what's interesting here? And I don't know uh, what's the problem. You don't see it yet, but when I'm going to pull this up a little bit, you're going to see the pallet, the wooden pallet. You see here, you don't, uh, it's... It, how do you call it? It's blurred. Why do you think that's blurred over there? Right there. Why do you think it's blurred? Because probably, you see right here, that's a stamp. Probably that could identify certain things and they don't want you to figure it out. Not you, other people. Just, just you know, I worked with these kind of things. I know what I'm talking about here. All right. So it's blurred nevertheless, but we're not dumb. We are very observant. What do you want? I mean, a little defect from uh, 
uh, previous jobs, right? So anyway, and these palettes, they look very, very uh, <clears throat> Ukrainian to, to me. All right, nevertheless, he says that Ukrainian police say they have turned over an undisclosed number, they don't allow us to tell us yet how many, of air defense missiles to the military after uncovering a plot by two people to hide a Tor air defense system they found after the Russians left it behind in the Chernihiv region as they evacuated in spring 2022. So right now, they don't tell us that it's America. No, 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 no. See, Emil, you were wrong. Wait. Time. Time and patience. I guarantee you we're going to find out. And we're going to find out those uh, uh, juveniles, juveniles, <laughs> Uh, Javanils, those ones will will find will find those ones. And you know what else? We're gonna find those vampire. They will you can put them on a pickup truck in the back. They're gonna found those and many other anti-tank uh, little missiles and grenades and uh, flamethrowers and whatever. You'll see. Now again, they give us the information. Little by little, they can't just tell us, oh, we found some howitzers uh, in Poland uh, ready to bombard Berlin. We're not going to find that yet. And it's not the Polish military who owns them. It's a group called the Bagalaga. And the group Bagalaga has those from Ukraine somehow. We don't know how. Uh, don't look here. Look somewhere else. <laughs> You'll see. The headquarters of the National Police. Ram, pam, pam. Polish, uh, Polish, yeah, police in Kiev said that the investigation began when they found a Tor launcher system somewhere in Brorvar district. They provided scant details, but said the discovery kicked off an effort to find two who put it there and what did they, what did with the missiles they went with it. What? And put it there and what they did with the missiles that went with it. So again, the pallets right there, no problem. And I'm quoting, after carrying, I'm quoting here, after carrying a number of operational and search measures, the law enforcement of officers managed to establish the location of those missiles. They were stored by the second offender in another part of the Kiev region in a rented garage box. It is not, it, this, uh, just because this is as it is right now, but, I guarantee you're going to find out uh, the Americans too, and not only. All right, so they were stored by, okay, it is unclear from the information released by National Police when all this took place or which of the several variants of the tour for which they provided no imagery, the men hid. Nor did they say how many of the 9M331 air defense missiles were recovered. The police said only that the cost of the missiles is about 30 million hryvnias, about one of uh, $818,000, about almost a million, 0.8 million dollars. Um, right, so here, <laughs> here's another picture right here. This is how it was stored. Can you believe this? Yeah, this is stored. We're gonna, you don't wanna go somewhere, baby doll. This commercial down at the bottom is gonna come back because they like me. <laughs> Not, you go to, <laughs> for about three seconds. <laughs> You're gonna see another one. So here is my friends. What else? Again, you see all this? They blurred it. Why did they blur it? Why did they blur it? One of the missiles placed on a pallet. Why did they blur it? Since these are supposedly <laughs> supposedly Russian left garbage, they just left over there. What would be the purpose of hiding the uh, I don't know, some numbers, something that people might say, wait a second, maybe these are not actually Russian, maybe these are actually uh, <coughs> Ukrainian by manufacture, the date, blah, 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 blah. Why is that? Why is that blurred? All right. And that's about, oh, no, that's not about it. Another one that's blurred right here. Right here. It's interesting, my friends, another one right here. In, in, interesting. And here again. Do you think they care if they uh, show this what is uh, so much advanced that uh, they will not show it? I'm pretty sure everybody knows uh, how these things look look like. So I think it's something that we're not supposed to uh, see. We got some more right here. Grenades, paparam, buburum. What do we have over there? What, what's that? What is that? Exactly. That's exactly what I think it is. Put it on the shoulder 
and put some little of those guys or others and bada boom tada bam okay and these are mines right here big ammunition is it for what for a, a armored vehicle my 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 grenades what the hell is this well they got all, all of the oh. <laughs> how about this one this is an old style right here you see them you just put over that clip right here clip and boo boo bam anyway ammunition grenades well i have doubts uh, doubt that these guys are telling us the truth here weapons ammunition magazines pop 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 poop 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 <laughs> what's this i would like to know what are these let's see what says javanil oh 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 police found a u.s provided disposable javel javelin shoulder fired anti-tank weapon launch tube lower left among the weapons seized this right here this is it my friends well i w i didn't read the article obviously because i said a lot of things at the beginning and right now i'm like see see there it is Whew, i was close <laughs> anyway my friends and that's about it that's about it my friends this is just uh they uh, intertwine it hey have you been to their house no i haven't been to her house no i haven't been to her house have you been? I've been only to the city or in the city. Oh, you visited the city? Yeah, yeah. Where she lives, but I haven't been in the house. You already are tangled. You know? So where have you been last night? Have you been to visit, I don't know, uh, Gigi? No, I haven't been uh, gone over there to visit Gigi. No. Where have you, where have you been? Uh, you know, I went to the town where Gigi lives. Oh, okay. We just find the javelins over there. Now, there's Gigi. We found a Gigi uh, kind of, uh, yeah. And then you're going to find out she went to Gigi's house and they had a little bit of starting a car. More like, that's what I meant. <laughs> my friends, my friends, you're going to find out. We are going to find out when they allow us. This is a signal. Do you think I didn't find before? They said they did. Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth. And then be just. I forgot myself. See you later.